Hi guys, this is an Post video, and today I have this Spring Bonnie plush I got from Hot Topic. Um, but before I, I review him, I want to show you the pain I'm going through. This is the light, and it's shining in my eyes, and it hurts. Um, but, so there's a, it's a crazy story. So I was at Hot Topic, and I was looking for the 65th anniversary of Disney Pops. And, um, we were going to go ask the cash register if they had them, and we were in line. And I, they had like a... Oh, a, ra a rack of plushies that were hanging up, and I saw behind a, cu a couple ramen noodle things that he was hanging behind them by his ear. Probably a little mark, yeah. Um, by a little hook, and there was also um one of the price the so you don't steal things on it. But um, I was like, nah, -uh, because I watched some guy's video where he shopped for this after it sold out, and. It was like $200. So then I checked Pop Price Guide, and it's worth $95, which basically is 100 which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, I can't believe I found him, and no one else has bought him. Um, here's the tag. And on the other side, other. <laughs> it has this. Um, it doesn't make sense to me, because... They keep getting more expensive, because originally, like, all the other ones, up, which are all up there, were only, like, 10 to $12, but he's 20 and I think so is Candy Cadet. So they're just getting more expensive, the exclusives. Which is kind of dumb, but alright, let's get into review. So the first thing, big, big thing you notice is, it isn't the same as Bonnie, it's not just a recolor. Which, Golden Freddy is just a recolor of Normal Freddy. And I think that works pretty good, because, like, exclusives don't always have to be new ones. They could just be recolors. But, they made a completely new one. Which, it's pretty good, but there's just, like, the mouth is weird looking. Like, it goes in. It kind of looks sad, but also looks curved at the end, so he kind of looks happy. I don't know what emotion he's displaying. I'm talking, like, a critic, but I actually really like this um, he has tiny little printed on eyelashes, which are pretty cute, and he has, um, uh, gr nice color green eyes that are pretty accurate, I think, to the game, um, that are embroidered on, like, all the other ones, I think, pretty much, and, um, he has a nose, and mine, it kind of, he's, he's kind of, like, tilted to the side a little bit, which is kind of weird, but that's just mine, he has big, Ears, I'm pr it's pretty similar to Bonnie, I assume. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, he has a purple bow tie with purple printed on, um, buttons. And, yeah, it's just, basically the body's just the basic FNAF plushie. And over here, I, this is an actual Freddy. Um... Golden Freddy, and they're actually a little bit of a different color, which I guess um, this guy's way, or he's way, Golden Freddy's way older than what this Spring Bonnie is, because when Golden Freddy's at this state, I'm pretty sure this would be Springtrap. I unfortunately don't have a Springtrap plushie, but I'm pretty sure Springtrap is like green because of how old and moldy he is with a dead person inside of him, but these two are a little bit different. Wait, I'm pretty sure the, the fur on his snout is the same color as Golden Freddy. It's kind of cool. But, yeah, he's way oranger than Golden Freddy. I guess I guess his counterpart would be Fredbear. Whatever, I don't know. I haven't watched the FNAF lore in a while. But I kind of wish that they still did the eyebrows like they used to. I don't know why they changed them so much. And I don't really, I'm not digging how they pop out. But, it's still, this is a really good plushie, and it's going to be displayed on top of my desk. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to, and peace.